Please remain standing to sing the national anthem. be seated. Would Dean Shinoi and Anne Wolfe please step forward to lead us in the scripture reading and prayers. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirits, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in hearts, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Gracious God, we are reminded today that your blessings do not necessarily follow the logic of the world. The world believes that the rich are blessed, but Jesus reminds us that it is the poor that are blessed. The poor in spirit and the poor materially as well. We pray for a more just world in which we all have enough and none are left behind. Help us to stand in solidarity with the oppressed and marginalized. Show us your presence in the faces of those the world forgets. Help us, Lord, to be the salt of the world. Help us to be the light of the world, sharing with others which what we have received. Help us to boldly proclaim the good news of your love, finding the seeds of your kingdom within us and letting your way grow in our lives throughout the world. Amen.
Thank you, Deans and Ian. We begin tonight with the opening address from Mr. Wayne Gordon, Chairperson of the Board of Trustees. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. It's been my privilege to be involved with the St Peter's College Board of Trustees this year, and it is indeed my honour to be here this evening to celebrate as we come to the end of the year with you all and to enjoy some of the prize giving and some of the aspects that we enjoy towards the end of the year. As the end of 2021 closes in on us, we can all reflect on a year that has featured uncertainty in many aspects of our lives due to the ongoing effects of COVID-19 within New Zealand and around the globe. For most families, 2021's return to work and to school had many of us feeling very optimistic that apart from the familiar yellow and black QR code posters everywhere, we might expect a fairly normal year, perhaps without lockdowns, masks, social distancing and postponed events. Sadly, the Delta variant of COVID-19 has seen us not only dusting off the lockdown processes, but also enhancing them to meet a new range of guidelines and restrictions. These restrictions may well stay with us for some time to come, and it really should be something that we consider in our day-to-day -day lives of how we carry on with things without getting overwhelmed by some of the aspects of COVID that are with us. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of the St Peter's College staff members and the senior leadership team for their efforts in rising to meet the challenges of lockdowns, restrictions and uncertainty. I believe this has been done magnificently by them and we're very proud of the St Peter's College team for their efforts. Their flexibility, positive approach towards keeping the college aims, goals and spirit alive and well. But also to you, the students, and to your families, I extend my thanks to you all for the work that's been done throughout the lockdown and beyond to assist in keeping students engaged in learning, whilst also managing uncertainty and in some cases anxiety within your bubbles. I can personally say it was marvellous to reopen the school after this year's Level 4 lockdown and to see and feel the positive energy of the St Peter's College community and our efforts to create a comfortable new normal. These are trying times and I'd like to extend an invitation to any staff members, students or family members to speak up should you be feeling anxious or overwhelmed by the circumstances we find ourselves dealing with. You're never alone, and the mental health and well-being of everyone in our community is oh so important. I would like to close by acknowledging the staff and the board members who have left throughout the year or will be leaving us as the year closes out. There have been some amazing contributions towards your learning, some directly and others from behind the scenes. Myself and the other board members would like to take this opportunity to thank you all very much for your efforts this year. On behalf of the board, I would like to wish you all the best for the upcoming holiday and festive season. For those of you who only have a few things to do before you complete the year and your schooling at St Peter's, I wish you all the best for not only the end of the year but for your futures also. And we look forward to welcoming a new group of students in 2022. Kia to na mana kitanga o tiariki kiranga i akoto. Thank you. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage our first item for the evening by the singing group. They're performing at the beginning by Richard Marks and Donna Lewis and are accompanied by Kristen Clark. Sorry, Kirsten Clark.
Thank you. I would now like to call forward our principal, Mrs. Margaret Leamy, to speak to you. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. He mahi mahana, Kia tato e hui mai nei, e tenei rā. Ke te hara koa, te nā kou kua, haere mai, e tenei wā. Ka mati atu, ka mahi mai, tenā koutou katoa. It gives me great pleasure to speak to you tonight as I reflect on this unforgettable year in 2021. COVID continued to interrupt us, but still we persevered. Staff, students, and the entire St. Peter's College community. Our perseverance includes the logistics of this prize giving tonight. Yes, it's different. It's only senior students. It's in our school hall, and it's live streamed for the first time ever. I welcome every one of you that has joined us, wherever that may be around our globe. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the success that we're about to celebrate. Tonight, this occasion is just as special as any other prize giving as we are celebrating the success of our year 11 to 13 students. We just heard the beautiful singing from our choral group, and there were some lyrics in there that really stood out for me. Life is a road, now and forever. You're on the road to success. Be proud and make the most of it. This year, I've seen you support each other, learn new concepts, build knowledge, develop self-confidence, and all this time, you've persevered. I'm proud to see that you have kept moving forward this year, and look at how successful you have been. As part of our Catholic education here at St. Peter's College, it is one of our goals to achieve the best possible academic standards. I am very proud that we expect and facilitate the highest achievement of all our students, whatever their ability, as we allow each student to use their God-given talents in promoting the good of society. Last year, our results for NCA Level 1, 2 and 3 were among the best in the greater Manawatu. I put this down to our incredibly committed staff. Every staff member only ever wants the best for our students. Your kindness and your sense of human dignity are very much appreciated. Without our exceptional teachers, we wouldn't be here celebrating all that we are tonight. I truly value your dedication and commitment to each and every one of our students. You all go that extra mile. You inspire, 
You celebrate learning, you are caring and compassionate, and you maintain high expectations. I truly admire these attributes. To all our staff, your araha and support for me and my role has been incredibly amazing, and I thank you so much for that. I'd also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge our Board of Trustees, who have been an incredibly supportive and encouraging board for me over this last year. We have a dynamic board who ensure our students are at the heart of our discussions. You have been true to our special character and our school values. A special mention goes out to Teresa Shanks, who resigned as the board chair at the end of term three to take up the position as principal at Rainier School in the Hawke's Bay. Teresa, thank you so much for your incredible, supportive, considerate, and understanding leadership. Marcel Wainoho resigns after six years as the Fano Rep and Cultural Advisor. Thank you for all your mahi and support over this time. I know that you'll continue to guide us. And to Wayne Gordon, you've confidently stepped into Teresa's shoes and I really appreciated your calm, wise and confident leadership. At the end of our school year, we will be farewelling five of our staff. Firstly, Fire Katrina Taylor has been with us for three years and played a significant role in Te Reo Māori. Her knowledge of tikana Māori and weaving of traditional Māori values in kawa into our St Peter's College community has been truly appreciated. Fire Katrina will be returning to her whānau in Hawera at the end of the year. Ms Eileen Gillard leaves us to be HOD of Chemistry at Freiburg High School. Thank you for your dedication in supporting our students, not only in the science arena, but also hockey. Mr Grant Gowan leaves us after 15 years to take up a position at Rangatake College. Thank you for your support within our pastoral team, as well as your love within the construction and automotive areas. Mrs. Michelle Mollard has had one stint of five years and then another for seven years. She's been committed to working with our international students and English learning language students. We've been very lucky enough to have your musical talents too, so thank you so much for entertaining us. Michelle is following her dreams to be the national manager of KiwiBots. And to Mr John Russell, who, dare I say it, also taught me. John retires after 36 years. He's been committed to anything in terms of commerce, as well as hockey and tennis and everything in between. Thank you, John, for all your commitment over the years. We will farewell these staff appropriately at the end of our school year. Sitting behind the scenes is my family, especially Gary, Annalise and Josh. Your continued understanding and patience has been amazing and I can't thank you enough. All three of you are my absolute rock. Reliable, funny and incredibly supportive. Thank you for everything. To you, our community, thank you for your support this year at St Peter's College. It's been another year of challenges, but together we have worked through these and delivered the best possible outcomes for our students. Take the time at Christmas to spend special moments with your friends and whanau, enjoy and treasure each other's company. To all of our Year 13 graduates, you've made it. 
I've been incredibly privileged to watch you grow into the most amazing, resilient, passionate, and independent young adults who I've loved working with. It's been an amazing journey for you all, and I truly encourage all of you to continue to live out our St. Peter's College prayer by using your eyes to see the needs of others and your hearts to reach out to fill those needs. Look to the future, dream big, spread your wings and oh the places you'll go. I have some advice to leave you with and this comes uh, from a pretty small popular little book written by Dr Seuss that many of you may recognise as young children. Oh, the places you'll go, one of my absolute favourites. So, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Year 13, life is a road, now and forever. Have a wonderful journey. Nā manakitanga, kia koutou katoa, blessings to you all. Thank you, Mrs Leamy. I am Sarah here and it is my pleasure to announce the Year 11 award, Awards this evening. I'd like to ask Mrs. Katie van der Venter to join me to present these. Prize winners will be called up in groups. You will find a guide to the various awards in the program. The following students receive a principal's award. Charlotte Bateman. Susanna Altagavaya. Peyton Fraser. Nonu Palo. Congratulations and well done. The following students also receive a Principal's Award. Joseph Hunt. Caitlin Amy. Fa Isopo. Praben Gimiri. Madison McCormick. Congratulations and well done. The following students receive both Excellence in Religious Studies and a Principal's Award. Amelia Bowen. Anna Maria Joby. Kiwa McLaughlin. Isabel Robertson receives Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award, and her Silver Duke of Edinburgh Hillary Award. Congratulations and well done. Subject awards are made to top students in their subjects. The following students receive subjects, subject awards and or special awards. Chrysanda Runayat receives the subject award for digital technology, electronics and robotics. 
Tyler Schicker receives the subject award for automotive technology. Adrian Makiwa receives his Silver Duke of Edinburgh Hillary Award. Tyler Miller receives the subject award for workplace numeracy. Luke Shepard receives his Silver Duke of Edinburgh Hillary Award and shares the subject award for outdoor education. Congratulations and well done. Kyan Reynolds receives a Beryl Bartlett Award for Japanese. Ella Hickman receives Excellence in Religious Studies, the Subject Award for History and Academic Excellence. Maggie Field receives a Principal's Award and the Subject Award for Performing Arts. Agnes Joseph receives Academic Excellence and Excellence in Religious Studies. Nadia McLeod Sands receives a Beryl Bartlett Award for Te Reo Māori and a Principal's Award. Tyler Mumby receives the Subject Award for Construction and a Principal's Award. Congratulations and well done. Carson May receives the Subject Award for the Young Enterprise Scheme and a Principal's Award. Farrah Richdale receives Excellence in Religious Studies and a Year 11 Rock Badge for Upholding School Values. Zoe Moore-Smith receives a Beryl Bartlett Award for Japanese and a Principal's Award. Christina Truitt receives the Subject Award for Visual Art and a Principal's Award. Dakota Williams receives the Subject Award for Food and Nutrition and Excellence in Religious Studies. Heather Skiffington receives the Subject Award and a Beryl Bartlett Award for Japanese and a Principal's Award. Congratulations and well done. Samuel Baum receives Excellence in Religious Studies and shares the Ainsworth Cup for English. On behalf of George Yates, Sam is accepting George's award for academic excellence as he is not well and currently having chemotherapy, so is unable to be with us tonight. Ivy Chow receives the Subject Award for Performing Arts, Excellence in Religious Studies and a Principal's Award. Isabella Comer receives the Subject and a Beryl Bartlett Award for Music and Academic Excellence. Molly Teo Frith receives the Subject Award and a Beryl Bartlett Award for Te Reo Māori, a Principal's Award and the Award for Commitment to the Puhoro STEM Academy in 2021. Jacob Marlowe receives Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award and academic excellence. Motuhia Fapiano receives a Beryl Bartlett Award for Music, a Principal's Award, and the Subject Awards for Contextual Science and Enhanced English. Congratulations and well done. Samantha Anderson receives Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award, and the God Baz Cup for Mathematics Improvement and Diligence. Patty Dillon receives the Subject Award for Design and Visual Communication, shares the Subject Award for Outdoor Education, receives his Silver Duke of Edinburgh Hillary Award, and is awarded a Year 11 Rock Badge for Upholding School Values. Rebecca Truitt receives a Principal's Award and the Merit Cup for Player of the Year. Rebecca is a member of the New Zealand Under-17 Development Squad in the National Women's League football team. Rebecca is currently trialling for Federation teams. Rebecca also receives her New Zealand Representative Badge. 
Shail Collette receives the Subject Award for Mathematics, Academic Excellence, Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award, and is awarded the Most Improved Senior Sportsperson Cup. Shail broke two school athletic records and three Manawatu inter-secondary inter school records, including the relay. She is the Manawatu Secondary School's Female Athlete of the Year and was first in the 100 metre at the North Island Secondary School Championships. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> Aria Lyons receives the O'Connell Cup for Creative Digital Technology, Academic Excellence, Excellence in Religious Studies, and the Vaughan Cronin Cup for Geography. Aria is awarded the St. Peter's Cup for Diligence and Application in Year 11. Adira Collette receives the Robinson Cup for Level 2 Biology and the Millennium Award and a Fonterra Award as the top science student in Year 11. Adira also receives the Subject Award for Religious Studies, Academic Excellence, a Principal's Award, shares the Ainsworth Cup for English and receives a sports recognition for being a member of our national champion 4x100 metre relay team. Samuel Mullen receives Academic Excellence, Excellence in Religious Studies, the Subject Award for Physical Education Studies and a Beryl Bartlett Award for Music. Sam is awarded the Peter Smith Memorial Cup for General Excellence in Year 11. Dean Shinoy receives the Subject Award for Level 2 Calculus, the Year 11 Scripture Reading Cup, Academic Excellence, Excellence in Religious Studies and a Principal's Award. Dean's receives the St. Peter's Cup for the top academic student in Year 11. These are our highest achieving Year 11 students. Malo e lele, malo ni, kiwarana, salo falava, lo ingoa, or nara clavel. And I would now like to announce the Year 12 awards and welcome Mrs. Tara Rolfe to present them. The following students receive excellence in religious studies Serena Antoine de Joux. Sarah Belk, Jessica Rendell, Sylvia Whale, Veronica Cabasag, Antoinette here. Congratulations and well done. The following students receive a Principal's Award. Chloe Acampado. Jacob Donovan. Manaya Greening, Kauriri Val, the following students also receive a Principal's Award, Tyler Hodson, Casileta Seco, Kari Bayeta Val,
Riley Shaw. Congratulations and well done. The following students receive Excellence in Religious Studies and a Principal's Award. John Lasaka. Rhea Linton. Jamie Lauvi Isitolo. Helena Higgs. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> Joyce James receives his Silver Duke of Edinburgh Hillary Award. Owen Bell receives a U Skills Merit Award and a Service Award for Sound Engineering. Sadie Coogan receives the Subject Award for Printmaking. Reef Luamanu receives a Beryl Bartlett Award for Japanese. Tiana Hapi receives a Beryl Bartlett Award for Te Reo Māori. And Logan Brown receives the Gateway Award for Automotive Mechanics. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> Dan Van receives the Subject Award for Digital Technology, Electronics and Robotics and a Subject Award for English Language. Michelle Stone receives Excellence in Religious Studies and the Subject Award for Social Studies. Jerika Bonkowska receives Excellence in Religious Studies and a Service Award for VEX Robotics Girl Power Events. Jordan Patterson receives Excellence in Religious Studies and the Subject Award for Food and Nutrition. Winston Holani Rowe receives a Principal's Award and Subjects Awards for Performing Arts and Enhanced English. Daniel Leamy receives Academic Excellence, Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award, and the Subject Award for Physical Education Studies. Congratulations, well done. Jade Rolf receives Excellence in Religious Studies and a sport recognition for me being a member of our national champion 4x100 metre relay team. Joshua McKenzie receives Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award and a Service Award for Breakfast Club. Libby Johns receives Excellence in Religious Studies and Excellence in English. Sophie Booker receives Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award, and a Year 12 Rock Badge for Upholding School Values. Honey Grace Hancock receives the Judith Ferrin Cup for Economics, Excellence in Religious Studies, Academic Excellence, and a Principal's Award. Congratulations and well done. Ethan Pleger receives Excellence in Religious Studies, Academic Excellence and Year 12 Rock Badge for Upholding School Values. Kyle Lemlenko receives the Andrew Morrison Cup for Geography, the Home and School Association Cup for English and Academic Excellence. Dupo Su receives a Beryl Bartlett Award for Music, 
Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award and a Service Award for Chapel Band. Cosette Pleger receives Excellence in Religious Studies and the Heatley Cup for the Diligence and Application in Year 12. Kimberly Walsh receives Excellence in Religious Studies and the Monsieur Duffy Cup for Outstanding Individual Sporting Achievement. Kimberly has a national ranking of first in the under 18 women's 400 metres. At the New Zealand Schools Championships, she was second in the 400 metres and in April took the title of first in the 400 metres at the North Island Championships. She is a member of the St Peter's College Relay Team, winners of the junior girls grade at the New Zealand Schools Championships and record holders for the Manawatu Inter-Secondary Schools Association. Kimberley collects on behalf of the 4x100 relay team the shared Hudson Sports Cup for the most outstanding sports team of the year. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> Morgan Lawrence has served as a student representative on the Board of Trustees in 2021 and receives Excellence in Religious Studies, the Subject Award for Painting, the Norman Kirk Oratory Cup, and the St Peter's College Cup for Senior Prepared Speech. Olivia Genty receives Academic Excellence, Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award, and a subject awards in design and visual communication and construction. Jack Tankersley receives the subject award for design, the St Peter's Cup for services to school in audio visual technology. Jack is also awarded the Silver Jubilee Cup and scholarship for service to sound engineering. Brianna Bold receives the Mary Ann Heer Memorial Cup for History, Subject Awards for Social Studies and Mathematics with Statistics, Academic Excellence, a Principal's Award, and Excellence in Religious Studies. Congratulations and well done. Ian Wolfe receives Academic Excellence, Excellence in Religious Studies, the Year 12 Scripture Reading Cup, a Principal's Award, and the Marist Club Scholarship. Ian is an under-18 Manawatu representative in both rugby and touch. Ian is also awarded the Inga Ward Trophy for Leadership in Year 12. Malo Lava. Anna Skiffington receives the Valerie Cup and Fonterra Award for the Top Year 12 Science Student, the Subject Award for Physics, a Subject Award and a Beryl Bartlett Award for Japanese, Academic Excellence, Excellence in Religious Studies and a Principal's Award. Anna also receives a Service Award for VEX Robotics Girl Power Events and is named the recipient of the St Peter's Cup for General Excellence in Year 12. Darcy Donaghy receives the Steve France Cup for Chemistry, the Vaughan Leslie Cup for Religious Studies, the Subject Award for Creative Technology and Design, and the St Peter's Cup for Debating. Darcy also shares the Andrew Morrison Cup for Geography, receives a Home and School Association Cup for English. You right there, Darcy? <laughs> Not finished yet and receives service awards for Breakfast Club and Sound en Engineering. Darcy is awarded the France Cup for the top academic student in Year 12. These are our highest achieving Year 12 students. <laughs> Congratulations and well done.
Good evening, I'm Rick Field, and I would like to invite Mr. Dan Parrott to present the Year 13 Awards. The following students receive excellence in religious studies. Ian Maniago. Clint Acampado. Pasha Sharma. Savio Sibi. Rebecca Mercer receives Excellence in Religious Studies and Excellence in Geography and a T. Rao Purwai Scholarship at Massey University. Congratulations and well done. Eden Vince receives a Principal's Award. Isaiah Naturo Toki receives a U Skills Merit Award. Zoe Trembath receives the UCO Accomplishment Award. Lucan Gifford receives a Principal's Award. Ashton Lucas receives a Subject Award for Photography. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> Molly Hunt receives a Beryl Bartlett Award for Music. Leighton Cliff receives the St. Peter's College Cup for Leadership and Commitment in Dance. Madison Wagoner receives a Principal's Award. Jacob Kane receives a Service Award for the Community Garden and a Sport Recognition for being a member of our National Secondary School's Champion Canoe Polo Team. Alana Christian receives a Principal's Award and Excellence in Religious Studies. Congratulations and well done. Alyssa Mendoza receives Excellence in Religious Studies and a Principal's Award. Isaac Murray receives the Subject Award for Creative Technology and Design and the Subject Award for Food and Nutrition. Stefan Van Offelen receives Excellence in Religious Studies and a Sport Recognition for being a member of our National Secondary School's Champion Canoe Polo Team. Long Lee receives a Victoria University of Wellington International Excellence Scholarship. Caleb Moore receives the Prime Minister's Vocational Excellence Award. This scholarship is awarded to a top gateway or trades academy student. It recognises the student's high degree of commitment and success in vocational training. In this case for Caleb, this is in electrical engineering. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> Karen Pardo Solozano receives an Otago University Vice Chancellor's Scholarship and a Ralph and Eve Seeley Academic Excellence Entrance Scholarship. Amanda Jonason receives her Gold Duke of Edinburgh Hillary Award, Excellence in Religious Studies, a Year 13 Rock Award, and a Sport Recognition for being a member of our National Secondary School's Champion Canoe Polo Team. 
Ruben Mascarenas receives Excellence in Religious Studies and the In-House Computers Trophy for Digital Technology and Media. Ella Franson receives the St. Peter's Cup for Biology, Excellence in Religious Studies, Siegfried Wiegler-Harding receives the Subject Award for Creative Technology and Design, Excellence in Religious Studies, and the Jonasson Cup for Innovative Creative Technology. Congratulations and well done. Eden Luamanu receives a Principal's Award, an Otago University Pacifica Orientation Program Scholarship, and an Otago University Pacifica People's Entrance Scholarship. Charlie Mollard receives the Diana Munn Cup for Drama, the Subject Award for Digital Technology, Electronics and Robotics, a PTFA High Achievers Award, and a Palmerston North Youth Council Scholarship for Leadership and Excellence in Robotics. Altea Alcantara receives Academic Excellence, Excellence in Religious Studies, the Subject Award for Food and Nutrition, and the St. Peter's Cup for Geography. Tim Cheng receives the Rikaisha Shield and Beryl Bartlett Award for Japanese, a Palmerston North Mayor's Goodwill Ambassador Scholarship, and a Socio Education Group Scholarship for study at IPU. Jessica Milne receives Excellence in Religious Studies, a PETA FA Scholarship, and Jessica is also awarded the Moana Clark Memorial Cup for Strength of Character. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> Lucy Pectores receives Excellence in Religious Studies, a Principal's Award, and the Westpac Scholarship. Veronica Amy receives Excellence in Religious Studies, the Murrama Lynch Trophy for Physical Education Studies, a St. Peter's College Trust Scholarship, and her Gold Duke of Edinburgh Hillary Award. Jimmy Bryder receives the St. Peter's Cup for Services to Performing Arts and a Beryl Bartlett Award for Music. Lily Bartlett shares the St. Peter's College Cup for Excellence in Tertiary Religious Studies with an A-plus grade in the Waikato University Ethics and Philosophy paper, an Excellence in English, and receives the Class of 2020 Award for Resilience and Integrity. Ishmael Tavita Fayoaso receives Excellence in Religious Studies a Massey University Undergraduate Scholarship, and the Quirk Rose Bowl for outstanding team effort on behalf of this year's Pacifica Fusion Group. This group of 45 Year 7 to 13 students won seven of the sections at Fusion, placed second overall, and received a special Team Spirit Award. Congratulations and well done. Uriel Villanueva receives Excellence in Religious Studies, the Subject Award for Printmaking, and the Class of 2008 Award for Perseverance and Personal Achievement. Molly O'Connor receives the Fitzsimmons Cup for Chemistry, Excellence in Religious Studies, the Harvey Cup for the Best All-Round Girl from Outside Palmerston North, and a St. Peter's Trust Scholarship. Tim Coulson receives the Subject Award for the Young Enterprises Award, 
the Higgins Cup for school leadership, and a sport recognition for being a member of our national secondary school's champion canoe polo team. Simon Goddard receives the Sister Joan Memorial Prize for Senior English, Excellence in Religious Studies, a Rock Badge for School Values, and the Cameron O'Brien Memorial Scholarship and Cup for a student who by their integrity and loyalty exemplifies the special character of the college. Elza Gibu Joseph receives the Subject Award for Design, the Subject Award for Design and Visual Communication, a Rock Award, and a PTFA Scholarship. Elza was recently named the Zonta Club of Manawatu Young Women in Public Affairs Award recipient for 2021. Elsa also receives the Teatify Award given to a student who embodies the spirit of the college prayer. Congratulations and well done. Gioan Rossero receives the Bishop Peter Cullinane Cup for Religious Studies, the Year 13 Scripture Reading Cup, shares the St. Peter's Cup for Geography, and receives a Board of Trustees Scholarship. Jotina Cefalino receives a Victoria University of Wellington Toto Weka Scholarship and the Pacifica Achievement Award for Commitment and Contribution to Pacifica. Fuka Minagishi receives the Bertrand Quinn Cup for Physics, a New Zealand Institute of Physics Prize, the RD Finity Cup for Calculus, a Fonterra Award for Science, Excellence in Religious Studies, and the Mary Quinn Scholarship. Albie Abelash receives the Bruce Cameron Cup for History, Excellence in Religious Studies, a Board of Trustees Scholarship, and the Joseph Grayland Cup for Support of Special Character. Anthony Maseroto receives the Subject Award and a Beryl Bartlett Award for Music, and shares the Mara Sports Cup for Outstanding Sports Person of the Year. Anthony holds New Zealand representative honours in canoe polo and also receives his representative badge. As cap captain, Anthony receives, on behalf of our senior canoe polo team, the Sport Manawatu Secondary Schools Team of the Year Award. And the shared Hudson Sports Cup for the most outstanding sports team of the year. Our canoe senior polo team are the Division I National Secondary Schools champions for the second year in a row. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> Matt Marlow receives the MacArthur Family Cup for Statistics, the St Peter's Cup for Economics, and the St Peter's Cup for Excellence in University Study in Mathematics. Matt also shares the St. Peter's College Cup for Tertiary Religious Studies, gaining an A-plus grade in the Waikato University Ethics and Philosophy paper. He receives excellence in religious studies and is awarded the Laurie McCall Scholarship. Amy Erskine receives excellence in religious studies, the Our Lady of Lourdes Cup for School Leadership, the Palmerston North RSA Welfare Trust Scholarship for leadership and citizenship. Amy is also awarded the Claire Tippett Rose Bowl for excellence in school values. Annalise Leamy King receives the Harding and Kellerman Trust Scholarship, the Subject Award for Social Studies, Excellence in Religious Studies, and Annalise also receives the Ward Cup for general excellence in year 13. Alyssa Shepherd receives 
Excellence in Religious Studies, her Gold Duke of Edinburgh Hillary Award, the PDC Adidas Cup for Services to Sport, a Massey University Academy of Sports Scholarship, and a Palmerston North Youth, Ca Youth Council Scholarship. Alyssa shares the Mara Sports Cup for Sports Person of the Year. She holds New Zealand representative honours in canoe polo and was a member of our national champion canoe polo team. She also receives her New Zealand representative badge. Alyssa is also awarded the O'Donnell Cup for the most outstanding girl. Congratulations and well done. Please welcome to the stage the Year 13 Band playing Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Now here you go again, you say you want your freedom. Well, who am I to keep you down? It's only me who wants to wrap around your dreams and have you any dreams you like to sell? Heartbeat drives you mad In the stillness of remembering what you had And what you lost And what you had And what you lost Oh, thunder only happens when it's raining Dreams of loneliness like 
like a heartbeat drives you mad In the stillness of remembering what you had And what you lost And what you had And what you lost Thunder only happens when it's raining Players only love you when they're playing. Say women, they will come and they will go. When the rain washes you clean, you know. Oh, thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing. Say women, they will come and they will go. When the rain washes you clean, you know. You know. You will. Thank you. I would now like to invite our 2021 head students, Amy Erskine and Tim Colson, to give their respective head boy and head girl speeches. Kia ora koutou katoa. Well, what a year it has been. But before we get into that, I would first like to begin with a general apology to all staff members that I have tormented in my junior years. As Miss Hearn recently told me, the school is in the business of growing great adults, not having perfect kids. I have felt very honoured to represent St Peter's as head boy for 2021. From having the opportunity to attend amazing leadership camps like the YCL and the Maris Brothers, to leading school assemblies and gatherings. Most years, I've sat half asleep in prize giving, fidgeting and daydreaming the time away. But my highlight has always been the head student speeches. From this, I have noticed that there hasn't been much mention of the FNS teachers. I was fortunate enough to win the lottery and have Miss McDonald as my foundations teacher. I would not be in the position I am without her. She has created strong foundations for me to become who I am. Most students have a handful of teachers that they look up to. Miss McDonald is at the top of my list. Miss McDonald, thank you from the bottom of my heart. My academic side has always been a struggle. I still have memories of sitting in our ex-principal, Mr. Olivier's office in the book reading club, listening to his frightening war stories. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if this was just an excuse for him to share some of these amazing stories. I would like to say that the Young Enterprise Scheme is also one of the reasons I am in the position I am. This class has helped me to develop into who I am today, as it has enabled me to blossom into a confident young adult. Miss Perda, thank you for everything you have done for me in this class. I would now like to acknowledge the wind underneath my wings, the best of the best, my biggest supporter, Miss Maserato. I could go on for hours talking about the amazing things that Miss Maserato has done for me, as well as how she has promoted and supported me. But Miss Lynch said my speech can only be a few minutes long. <laughs> Since I'm on the topic of Maserato's, I would also like to pay a big thank you to Carl. You have been an excellent role model. One day, I hope to give back to the community like you have. Your commitment to canoe polo and basketball has been second to none. Amy, my wingman. I couldn't have asked for a better co-leader. You have supported me through thick and thin. Thank you for sorting the levers gear without my help while I was in the hospital. 
I apologize for my lack of attendance this month. Thank you for keeping me accountable and organized throughout the year. Thank you, St. Peter's, for all the amazing opportunities we have been given. Towards the start of my life, my school life, my team was fortunate enough to win the Vex IQ Robotic Nationals and represent New Zealand over in the USA. Thank you, Mr. Van Haren, for giving me the opportunity, as well as Ms. Mollard for organizing the trip and also being an all around amazing entertainer, not only on the trip, but also over my whole school life. I'm the youngest, brightest, and best looking of my siblings that have attended the school. <laughs> I'm sure my family will be missed, especially at prize giving when my nanny Robin Higgins creates these ama amazing flower arrangements. From our family to the St. Peter's family, thank you. Mum, Dad, Nanny, and the rest of my family, thank you for supporting me in these amazing opportunities. Year 13, I couldn't have asked for a better support crew. The saying a badge doesn't define a leader has been apparent in our year level, with everyone showing full support and always willing to step, out, uh, step up and help out when needed. To all my close friends, you know who you are. Thank you for always supporting me and believing in me. And Mr. Gowan, my bestest of friend, one day I will beat you in an arm wrestle. <laughs> to all the staff at St. Peter's, thank you for always being there for me and our school community. You have come together to create many amazing teaching environments like PB4L. Now to the whole student community. The year following the first round of COVID, as well as a new leadership team, was always going to be challenging. But I think our school community has adapted and overcome these challenges, as we can see here tonight. I have loved all the friendly faces and the big smiles, but the best part of the student community is the feeling of family. I stand up here to inspire the students that sit at the back of class, to challenge themselves and become leaders. As mentioned, leadership is not always defined by a badge and leading from the front isn't always the right approach. I encourage you to make the most of the opportunities school provides and to find a passion and use it to your advantage to better yourself. School is about learning, not only academically, but how to grow into respectable young adults. And finally, I will share a psalm with you that I used at the start of my head boy journey in the interviews. 1 to Corinthians, 12 to 14. For the body is not one member, but many. Thank you. My seven years at St. Peter's College is coming to an end. These past years have been some of the best years of my life. I've created so many memories and have made lifelong friends. I've thoroughly enjoyed my last year of school with the amazing Year 13 group we had this year. I'd like to thank them all for making school so enjoyable and for creating many memories that I'll treasure forever. I wish you all the best for your future endeavours. During my time at St Peter's, I've been given an overwhelming amount of opportunities for me to develop my leadership skills and to grow as a person. Being head girl has been a real privilege and is something I'll never take for granted. Being able to be seen as a role model to the younger students of the college and to also be able to give back to my community is something I've always wanted to do. Within this role, I've had the ability to represent the college at events such as Anzac Parade, the Marist Leadership Forum in Christchurch, O'Shea Shield and Open Night. I'm very grateful that I came to St Peter's College because most of these opportunities that I've been given here, I would have never been able to experience at another school. This is something that I think makes our school so special. Duke of Ed is another opportunity that was thrown my way. This year, I was fortunate enough to go down south with a group of friends for our gold expedition. To say the least, this trip was definitely a highlight of my year. Taking our bikes for a walk up these hills was pretty fun, eh Jess? I will never forget my gold expedition as it pushed me physically and mentally, enabling me to discover the level of perseverance and determination I have. I'd like to thank Mrs Lynch for the immense amount of time she puts into this award. Thank you, for, thank you also for all the support you give in guiding us through the steps we have to take in preparation to leaving school and starting our new journeys. A huge thank you goes to all the staff. The work you put into the college is greatly appreciated. 
A special mention to Mrs Alimi and Mr Parrott for the support you have given Tim and I throughout the year and for also taking us out for lunch. Tim, thank you for being a great person to work alongside. Being thrown in the deep end for our first assembly at the start of the year was a bit daunting, but look at us now. It has been a pleasure sharing this role with you and I wish you all the best for next year. Another person I'd like to thank is Miss McLeod. PE Studies has been a huge highlight of school and I'll never forget all the memories and laughs we shared as a class and the friendships I formed. I'd also like to thank my year seven and eight teacher, Mr Peck. Those two years were probably the craziest school years of my life, but it is safe to say they were also the best. Your passion for learning and creativity had a huge impact on me. I have many memories from CPK, including setting off the fire alarms, trying to get pancake mix out of my hair, splitting my knee open on a couch, choreographing a class dance both years were performing arts night, and I could keep going on. You challenged me to step out of my comfort zone constantly, which has helped shape me into the person I am today, and for that, I thank you. To all my friends, my second family. Sometimes I think about what it would have been like if I went to another school and had a different group of friends. Well, school would have been pretty boring. There is no one else that I would have rather spent these years with than all of you guys. Thank you for always being there for me and I look forward to the years ahead of us and the adventures we have yet to experience together. The last people I'd like to thank are the people who have given me endless support, Mum, Dad and Jake. I'm so grateful to have you all in my life. Mum and Dad, you've raised some pretty cool kids I must say. Although I don't always say or show it, I do love you both and appreciate all that you do for me. I wouldn't have done half the things I've done if it wasn't for you guys being the parents you are. My brother Jake, you're honestly the best brother I could ask for. I see he's more of a best friend than my brother and our friendship is something I'll never take for granted. I think at this rate, I'll be moving out of home before you and I'll definitely miss always having you around. I'm truly going to miss St. Peter's College and seeing the same people I've seen for the past seven years every day. Make the most of the time you have at school with your friends and peers, because before you know it, you'll be saying goodbye like me. I'd like to wish all the future leaders and head students the best of luck. Life's too short, so take all the opportunities you are offered and work hard. But at the end of the day, know that all you can do is your best, and that is enough. Thank you. Thank you, Amy and Tim, and well done. The 2021 House Competition, as in any year, has been hotly contested. I would like to invite Mr Chris Osborne to step forward to present the House Shield. place and your 2021 champion the house is McKeefrey. <laughs> Now we move to the announcement of the head students for 2022. Mrs. Lamy, would you please come forward to make the announcement?
Head Girl for 2022 is Dupu Sue. <laughs> And head boy for 2022 is Ian Wolf. Ian to take their seats on stage. Our high school honours are recognised by awarding the St Peter's College medallions. Students who receive a medallion have served our school community in positions of significant responsibility or achieved the highest award for academic excellence in the senior school. It is my privilege to announce the recipients of the 2021 St Peter's College Senior Medallions. I would like to ask Mrs Leamy to come forward to present these awards. The medallion for head boy, Tim Coulson. The medallion for head girl, Amy Erskine. A medallion for service to special character, Albi Abelash. A medallion for service to special character, Annalise Leamy King. A medallion for service to VEX Robotics and School Spirit, Charlie Mollard. A medallion for service to culture and the arts, Jimmy Brider for performing arts. A medallion for service to culture and the arts, Jotina Cifolino for Pacifica and Chapel Band.
the medallion for service to house, Veronica Amy. The Medallion for Service to Sport, Alyssa Shepherd. <laughs> Could we please applaud the medallion winners? Congratulations, you may now return to your seats. The Shillington Cup and the medallion for the runner-up to the Ducks Proxime Excessit is Annalise Lemmy King. And finally, the medallion for academic excellence in the Father J. Summers Memorial Cup and announced as the Ducks of St. Peter's College for 2021, Matt Marlowe. <laughs> School stand, please. Congratulations. This brings us to the end of the awards for 2021. On behalf of St. Peter's College, we are proud to celebrate the efforts and successes of our students. Mr. Field, would you please come forward to give the final blessing? Lord, we give thanks to you for bringing us safely to the end of the school year. We give thanks for the talents and gifts of our students that have been shared with us. We give thanks for the challenges that have been faced and overcome in this difficult year. And we give thanks for the community that we are. Bless our students as they sit their exams. May your spirit inspire them with confidence and calmness. Bless our families as we take our upcoming holidays and may our time together leave us with memories to cherish. And finally, bless those students and staff who are leaving our community. We ask that you continue to guide them on their journey ahead. And we make our prayers through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Nga me hinui ki a tātou katoa, e hui mai ki whakanui, e nga mahi a ngā ākonga mō tēnei tau, nō reira. Ki a haumarau tēnā tēnuhu, ki a haumarau tēnuho, tēnā koutou katoa. you may be seated.